Arsenal Fan TV, Mo, um, good to get a win over Mourinho at last for Arsene Wenger. And um, it was, you know what, once we got that second goal, it was pretty comfortable as well, wasn't it? It was comfortable all game. You know, we weren't up to much attacking in the first half, but United had no ambition. And when I say they're an ex-great club, there's a reason for that. They did not come here to win. And that's why they were never going to be the invincibles. They've only ever been the unwinnables. And I'm glad we put that rubbish, rubbish budget, little sort of-esque streak that they had to bed you know just shut up now about your stupid run because it's the most budget run I've ever seen and I'm glad that it was us that put it to bed today mm. I despise United I despise the way they play I despise their manager and the fact that we won today I'm not even going to take too much pride in that because we've beaten a, a very very bang average team you know the fact that we're below them in the league <laughs> on, I'm Mo. serious no I wouldn't say they're bang average, average. we're bang average this year and they're even worse than that and I'm, I'm going to be honest here I'm not saying we're any better than them but they are pathetic he almost bringing swear words out of my mouth that's how bad they are <laughs> we're, we're just as bad as them this year but the fact that we're underneath them in the league table this year shows just how bad we've been this year and the fact that now we're two points behind with a game in hand and we're going to finish above them, at least it shows more of a true story in terms of which one's the better team. But no pride in beating this rubbish today. <laughs> You're really hard today. I mean, listen, going into the game, it was a game that we really needed to win. You know, number yeah. one for this top four, you know, to try and get into any, any hope of getting into the Champions sure. League. And number two, just for a bit of pride. Yeah. I mean, we, we, you know, that record of against the big teams has been very, very bad. And so to get a win against them was good. Yeah, but you know, listen, man, a lot of people are going to say, yeah, the big teams, these aren't really a big team. When we're talking about big teams or, or the form teams, unfortunately, it's Tottenham and Chelsea. They're the teams that really are going to test your metal, not United. You know, let's be honest about that. But um, look, any game that we go out and win right now is good for our confidence because we're so inconsistent and really, you know, every time we play, I'm nervous. Southampton away, I'm going to be nervous. When we play Stoke, I'm going to be nervous. United, nervous. No difference, you know. But um, no, I'm, I'm glad we got the win today. If, if it matters to Arsene Wenger that he beat Mourinho, I'm happy for him. But ultimately, to me, to fans, it doesn't matter who the manager is. It's about the team and it's about us having as good a season as possible. And look, now I think we're in a position where a few games left in the league, like what, five, six, four or five games left in the league for each team, and I think Liverpool or City will lose at least one game. I think we have got the opportunity now to sneak in. We have to win every single game. We can, and today, really, if we didn't win today, then that was it. It was mm. absolutely season over in terms of chasing that Champions League spot. But now, when I think about it, at the start of the season, did anyone really expect us to win the league? I wouldn't have said so. I think they expected mm. us to do better in terms of challenging. But if someone at the start of the season said, you don't win the league, but you finish in the top four and you win the FA Cup, most of us would have said, uh, you know, I guess that's par performance for Arsenal. Winning the FA Cup is a minimum expectation. Champions League, minimum expectation. We kind of would have, not, not that we would have taken it, but we would have said, yeah, fine, you know, we can accept that. The way the league has gone and how poor we've been has actually painted a very different story. You know, we've been really below par this year, but ultimately, I heard you ask, asking other people this question, can he salvage this season? He can salvage this season. Winning the FA Cup and finishing the Champions League spots will be salvaging this season. Does that make him deserving of a new contract? No, but he can still salvage this season. So Arsenal fans have got something to be excited about, unlike Tottenham fans. And, um, you know, we've got a cup final, we've got a trophy that we can go and win. So we just need to back the boys and hope that we can do something. And then also now the biggest thing is in summer, we need all worlds of change in this club. We need some serious, serious, um, you know, shifting of our culture and ambition and everything like that. And uh, I hope something happens in the summer now where, where we actually say, Do you know what, they've turned a corner. Because, um, you know, Karenki, if he's not going to sell up and get out of this club, one thing that he does need to do is actually turn around and say, well, do you know what, I'm, I'm wasting away here. I'm wasting my investment. If I was an analyst and I could say whether you should be buying, selling or holding these shares at Arsenal, I'd be saying sell. It's looking dangerous. We're falling away. And his, the, the capital value that he's generated, maybe right now is the time for him to go. Because if he doesn't change the way he's doing things, if he doesn't turn a corner, you know, we're not going to be in the Champions League in four or five years' time. You know, if we sneak in there today, that's not because we really deserve it, or, or this season. It's not because we deserve it. It's because there's been so many other teams that have underperformed as well. But look, good day today. We've beaten an average team. Happy we've done it. And now we need to go in on and finish in the top four and win the FA Cup final. And then at least we can kind of be happy-ish with the se happy -ish with season. And I agree with Kalechi what he said. No parade this time. 
you know, we won the FA Cup and it was after a long time, did a little parade, fair enough, we need bigger and better things now. And that's a clear message the club need to understand. FA Cup is minimum expectation for a club like Arsenal and we cannot continually celebrate minimum expectation as if it's a big, big deal. So look, let's get the FA Cup, champ Champions League qualification this year and then move on. Okay.